steak always let it rest so all of those juices can go back where they come from you know i mean if you cut into it right away it's gonna bleed out you learned something new today huh i have no idea how to cook or anything like that so i'm very excited for this. so we're, we're just gonna, right gonna now, slice right? it up in a nice little angle beautiful you're beautiful <laughs> it's true i love it What's so it like I, to be part of the taste of buffalo this year man it's a great feeling that the love i get from these people this can't wait to like cook along with me and see me in the virtual stage. It's a beautiful thing, man. You can find that on their Facebook page right now. Find out how to make this delicious steak. But I think I'm going to get to try some of this delicious steak. And, and to, let you guys know how it is. to go with this steak, I got some coffee butter. Oh, okay. Most people never heard of it, but that's something I created. So what I did, I put some coffee grounds mm -hmm. in the pan with some butter. I mean, just turn this real quick. We don't want to cook it too well done with put some butter. Here. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the steak. Okay. We gotta try it right now. Here yep. we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on the plate first. Okay. Nice little we go. presentation. Cause that's what we're all about, the plating society. Beautiful. Look at Boom. that. And then there you go. Boom. I'm just gonna get that coffee butter. Coffee butter, and here's the moment we've been waiting for all morning. Shake it up and just put it all over it. Then it's mm. just melt down in the steak. I just infuse coffee grounds with butter. And you got okay. coffee butter. Don't be shy. Dive in. Okay, ready? <laughs> Here we go. Should we cheers? Cheers. We want some eggs with this, huh? Steak and eggs. That's amazing. I have nothing else to say. You can find Right now, it's, we're doing like open heart surgery in the city of Dunkard Water System. So we're not, it's not critical, it's not at a, at a possible fatality, but we're going to save the life of the system. Most of, it was, most of it was across the roads um, to where they couldn't drive their personal vehicles um, across the road. It wouldn't have been safe for them. Karima El Bahari is the Director of Operations and Development for the new Buffalo Heritage Carousel. The $6 million project, which has been years in the making, is entering the final stages of construction. The carousel is under wraps right now because of the sanding of the floors. Currently, we're installing the floors, the finishing floor around the roundhouse, the carousel itself. It's almost like a boardwalk that's going around the carousel. It's just nice to have everyone back. Um, you know, with COVID last year, you know, we went very virtual last year, so we didn't have too many people on campus. We were very limited in the things that we could do. Um, now having everybody back, we're able to actually have a college atmosphere for the kids that we recruited this year and for the kids that, you know, who aren't on the team, but they can actually experience what college is supposed to be like. <laughs> 